Hi, my name's Peter Wakeman. I'm from Sun NG Proprietary Limited. We're a startup solar company based in Sydney, Australia. We've come to the United States to uh, show some uh, solutions we think we've got for the uh, renewable energy uh, sector. Uh, firstly, we'd just probably like to uh, show our appreciation towards the Obama government for the uh, the injection of capital into both renewable energy and clean technology. Uh, it's a great, uh, great initiative. Uh, unfortunately, what can happen and, and, and is likely to happen in some instances is that some of that money gets squandered. When you put a big pot of money out in front of people, uh, there will be some money squandered on, on misinformation and on perhaps claims that can't be ultimately uh, substantiated and also maybe some backroom deals that get done. It's important, we think, for the government to have some good technical people on the ground to get out and talk to the innovators, get out and talk to the engineers who are actually providing solutions and make sure that they don't miss any because there is an opportunity out there. There will no doubt be a lot of solutions available. There already are. And uh, some of these solutions will also be able to be combined. But I think um, it's, it's important to, to come back to those solutions and say, look, we need some of them to be particularly uh, focused on, on low cost and to be able to focus on getting costs down to, towards the cost of uh, fossil fuels. Now, um, it's OK to set a target for CO2 emission and be an aggressive target, but we also do need to set aggressive targets for at least some technologies to make sure that there are a few technologies out there that will come on parity with uh, fossil fuels, particularly coal. Now, uh, our particular technology addresses uh, that specifically because we've aimed at trying to reduce the cost of our, of our, our technology to the cost of coal-fired power, and that's uh, a claim that we feel very confidently that we can substantiate. Essentially, what we have is a, a small demonstration model here of a, of a much larger uh, solar collector. It's a concentrated PV uh, solar collector. It's the LSA or Liquid Solar Array, uh, array um, solar power generator and essentially it uh, uses very simple technology. It's a, a simple Fresnel or Fresnel lens and uh, a very simple set of uh, silicon PV cells. Now uh, what we've done is we've moved the concentrated technology off the land onto the water and the reason that we've done that is it allows us to reduce structural costs enormously and that's where the cost is in solar power. It's in structural cost, not in technology. So by putting it onto the water we've able to, been able to uh, achieve a number of objectives. One is that the PV canister itself, uh, the bottom half, sits underwater so it's passively cooled. Uh, the water also becomes a structural part of the, the, the generator whereby it it's, sits on an array of rafts anchored in shallow water to the bottom, in deeper water to the sides of the water of the bank and um, uh, the most important thing though is we are able to avoid the wind. The structural costs on land are so high because they've got to withstand high wind and that's the only reason that the costs are so high. If you can avoid the wind, you can avoid the costs. So what we've managed to do with our tracking mechanisms is that if the wind does get too strong we can actually rotate the lens part underwater uh, out of the wind until it stops and then comes back up and starts tracking again. So it will track from 8 in the morning till 4 in the evening the applications that we see are very, very scalable uh, from the opportunity to give a, a village in India that has no power but they do have a, a, a dam and they do have usually 10 months worth of good, good sunlight, the opportunity to get power for refrigeration, for water reticulation, irrigation, hand tools to, to try and significantly improve their standard of living. That's the small scale, uh, but spread across many, many millions of people. Large scale would be a perfect example of hydroelectric uh, dams, for example, here in Nevada with the, with the Hoover Dam. We can float megawatts, hundreds of megawatts of these units on that dam, and whilst ever the sun's shining, there's no need to pour their water down through the turbines to generate electricity. So there's a real uh, accent towards water preservation, water conservation, uh, even under the arrays that we have on the water, evaporation is reduced as well. So it's not only a way to produce electricity that is comparable in price to fossil fuels, it's also a way that we can uh, help uh, with the water resources as well. So if you wanted more information on our product, we're on the web, uh, sunng, S-U-N-E-N-G-Y.com. Uh, we'd be very happy to hear from you if you have any inquiries. Thank you.